We're connecting with the management of TTK Prestige. We want to understand a little bit more about their growth road print, the long-term strategy, and what the outlook is when it comes to rural demand. And we have with us Mr. Venkatesh Vijay Raghavan, who is the CEO and MD designate. Thank you for taking time out and good to speak with you. Um, I just want to start off by understanding the reasons for engaging a global consultant to redraw your company's blueprint. What exactly is the um, game plan on this front and can you tell us a little bit more about the long-term plan yeah thank you thank you for this opportunity um, so as you know that we've gone through a management uh, reboot where a lot of new senior leadership has joined in and a lot of uh, people have joined in over the last one year and me being recently taking over as the ceo uh, ttk prestige over the last 30 40 years if you had to look at it, has been making strides in terms of innovation in terms of growth like in every organization, we do believe that uh, uh, what has taken us so far here will not necessarily be the right thing to do. We need to do new things, new strides that could take us to an accelerated growth path. As a part of this journey, we've also sort of engaged with the global consultant to have a look at our internal structures, our strengths and weaknesses, and therefore the opportunities that we could possibly look at. And how do we drive the entire organization towards an accelerated growth? And that's the intent of bringing in a partner. So it's a strategic partnership that we intend to look at, an opportunity that would help us uh, reassess our strengths and our opportunities to the market as well. Okay, fair enough. Um, now let's understand the five-year plan and strategy. What are going to be the top three areas that you plan to focus on and how will you achieve those goals? So the way we look at it is, I think uh, we've been an innovator through. If you were to look at the journey of this organization, its growth has been driven by innovations that have been defining the categories, disruptions that have sort of led the categories to growth, and we've benefited from the growth as a leader. So I think one a critical aspect of this growth plan in the next five years is to continue to be thought leaders and innovate as strong as possible. We've looked at the categories, the categories that we are present in, our core categories today continue to grow on the basis of the consumption story that India has today. These categories are very relevant. And uh, in fact, these categories are getting premiumized as well. So one core strategy very clearly is to continue to innovate, continue to lead the thought leadership of the categories and bring in new products, bring in new categories so that we are able to actually get the growth accelerated. The second one in my mind is digitization. Uh, we've seen digitization help us in terms of being able to drive efficiencies very strongly. Across industries, across categories, we've seen digitization when it happens, it, it, it opens up a lot of opportunities hitherto hidden in terms of our daily operations. Now, that's the second agenda, including automation across our manufacturing side, across our supply side, and across our sales and marketing side as well. The third important aspect that we look at is to, is to look at a go-to market and look at new geographical opportunities that we believe we've been a sort of not exploited in the past and therefore expand a geographical presence, not just in India, but also in terms of the export models that we look at as we move forward. Uh, these three are the core strategies that we believe that would help us accelerate our core. Our core remains strong. And we believe the consumption story of India for the next decade augurs very well for us as well. Right, sure. You know, the other thing I also wanted to talk about since you just, uh, you know, flagged it off. What areas do you see the most significant opportunities to gain a competitive edge right now? And what are these new product categories or innovations that you plan to introduce in your range? No, uh, I may not be able to explain it in detail, but sure. if I were to look at kitchens are becoming smarter today. And uh, we believe that kitchen, kitchen is an area that we are masters in and we believe that that's an area that we would be able to strengthen our core. Like I said, kitchens have become smarter by way of uh, cookware, by way of uh, appliances, small domestic appliances. And there are a lot of categories where while we've been leaders in five to six categories, in a few categories, we've been sort of holding on without accelerating our leadership. So therefore, our belief is that a few categories in the appliances side, we would strengthen our presence and increase our uh, market leadership, consolidate our leadership in, say, cookers and cookware as well. Okay, uh, you've also committed to about 15 crore rupees of investment with initial investment of 5 crores in, you know, uh, in Gramya Heart to expand the reach into underdeveloped areas as well. What benefits do you foresee from this investment and what exactly is the rationale and the plan like? So, uh, we see this as a strategic investment from two perspectives. Uh, one, it helps us understand the rural markets very clearly. Uh, 
I think rural is an untapped market in uh, the categories that we operate in, and we believe there's a huge opportunity if you were to get the rural model right. This uh, investment is a strategic investment that will help us one uh, track what's happening in the rural markets, help us understand how do we access the rural markets profitably, and also build a model that's probably scalable across the country. So, in my mind, this is a, a sort of a small investment that we've made. which will help us learn faster accelerate our learning curve in the rural markets and therefore get a good go to market very strong in the rural markets as well so we are partnering with one of the startups and we believe that uh, like in many other categories we would also like to participate with strategic partners who could complement our uh, strategies and help us actually get our accelerated growth goal faster and uh, finally can you also give us a sense as to um you know last time the company had spoken about some sort of a demand problem across your business segments what is it like now how is it evolving across geographies so the demand is yet to be robust but uh, how my belief is that we are bottoming out right now uh, in the next couple of quarters i would hazard a guess that we should be back to track in terms of growth as an industry uh post covid the growth uh, has been sort of petered down and my belief is we are at the bottom we should see green shoots coming off as we move forward uh i do see the couple of channels have started to respond well and that gives me the confidence that over the next few quarters we would see possibly a, a rebound as an industry and therefore we would take advantage of that as well Finally, just getting a quick sense as to what the penetration is for the pressure cooker growth. How are you looking to uh, enhance performance here? And a quick word on your exports. So, uh, if you were to look at, like I said, pressure cookers is a well penetrated category uh, across both rural and urban markets. Uh, urban markets being on the higher side, and rural markets still have a little bit of a headroom as far as pressure cookers are concerned. Like in many categories uh, and many categories across industries. Uh, one significant trend that we are seeing is the fact that people are willing to premiumize and replacement cycles are shortening over a period of time therefore i think a core for us in the pressure cooker segment is to bring in new innovations that would help customers premiumize and upgrade their kitchens as well and cooker seems to be also an anchor category in this uh, in this regard so our focus on cooker category is to bring in new innovations bring in opportunities for consumers to upgrade and sort of get their kitchens to become even more smarter and that's an attempt that we're doing as we speak and we should see a lot more of innovations coming in the cooker segment as well appreciate your time thank you for joining in and giving us an all round view as to how the business is shaping up and your long term growth targets and outlook if you like this video then like share and subscribe to 18 now